To start a Zoom meeting, click the Start Meeting button from the Zoom Client, Web Portal, or Zoom Meetings tool from within Sakai, or click the Join link. After starting a session, you may be presented with audio options. If so, click the Join with Computer Audio button during a meeting. Hosts have more controls than participants. Meeting controls appear at the bottom of the screen. Some of them may appear by default, while others may need to be activated on the Zoom website under Settings. From left to right, the very first one is Mute. Clicking this button will allow your microphone to turn on and off during a meeting. To turn it back on, just click it once again. Additional audio settings can be found by clicking the up arrow and choosing Audio Settings. The next button is Stop Video. This turns your webcam on and off during a session. When you turn it off, your profile image will appear. Click it again to turn your webcam back on. Additional video settings can be found by clicking the up arrow and selecting Video Settings. This up arrow also has access to virtual backgrounds. The next button is Security. This gives you access to different controls for participants and if people can join the meeting or not by locking the meeting. The next tool is Participants. Clicking this button will open up a window that will show everybody that's currently in the meeting. If using a waiting room, this is also the place where you would admit new people to the meeting. Participant controls can be accessed by hovering over the participant and selecting to mute them or accessing more options. To access invite instructions to give it to people on the fly, either click the invite button here or click the up arrow next to participants and click invite. If you click chat, it opens up a window where people can chat via text. You can either chat to the entire group or select certain people that are in the group. The next tool is Screen Share. Clicking this button will open up a window that will allow you to share your entire screen or a specific window. Once you've made your selection, click Share. Your screen will now be shared among the participants. Your toolbar will now be draggable. Things such as mute and stop video are still available, when you're ready to be done screen sharing, click Stop Share. To allow participants to share their screen, click Security and make sure there's a check mark next to Share Screen. If it's enabled and set up, polling will appear here. Polling will allow you to conduct polls during your Zoom session. Note that polling is only available during scheduled meetings. The next tool is Record, and this will allow you to capture the meeting. If you click this, you're presented with two options to either record on this computer, which will save the files locally that you can then share later via Google Drive or other means, or record into the cloud, which save the files onto the Zoom website, which you could access later with your Zoom account. Please note that these files are periodically deleted. The next tool is Breakout Rooms. This is a great tool to take a large Zoom session and chunk it out into small groups. Uh, these rooms can be pre-assigned before the session or they can be assigned on the fly. You can also allow students to choose which breakout room they want to join. Finally, the More button allows anything else that is hidden. So if your window is small, some of these buttons may be hidden and they'll be accessible in the More button. Here, I have all of my different live features, so I can either stream on Facebook or YouTube. When I'm done with the meeting, I can click End, and I could choose to either leave the meeting or end the meeting for all. If you have questions or need assistance, contact itech at plu.edu.